Hi, I'm Ruby and today I'm going to show you how to set up your jumping spider enclosure. Right, let's look at what you get when you order a jumping spider and a mini bug box with kit. You will get a lovely clear acrylic enclosure with 2mm cross ventilation holes. This enclosure is designed so that you can either use it vertically or horizontally. Today we will be setting it up vertically. As you can see it comes with a piece of bark two fake plants and some coca peat substrate. We are going to start by spreading the coca peat on the bottom of the enclosure, patting it slightly down to make the ground even. Then we will add the fake plants and bark hide, arranging it in any way that pleases you. I do suggest placing the bark hide to face the back wall to encourage your jumper to build her hammock away from the side opening door. I think this is looking good now. Time to get this little cutie ready for her new home. We use these little catching cups we call bug handlers and they are great at helping to catch crickets or to remove your jumper from her travel cup. Please make sure when you take your jumper out of her travel cup that you are working in an area that is open and where you can find her easily should she make a run for it. You want to gently encourage her to climb out of her travel cup. Now once she is in, you want to either make the cup face up to get her to climb onto the bark or she may need some encouragement with a little paintbrush. There she is, starting to explore her new enclosure. Look at that little face. Isn't she just the cutest thing you've ever seen? We can now go ahead and get some crickets for her to snack on. We keep a few in a tall round container to make it easier to catch. Once again using our cricket catcher. We'll just add two or three little crickets, no bigger than the spider. She will eat when she is ready. She may need some time after she first moves in to feel settled before catching her first cricket. This jumper is a Surveyor Incarna, our giant bark jumping spider. We have used her as a model as she is nice and big, friendly and one of our most popular jumpers. They make great first pets. This is a gravid female as you can see by her big abdomen and the stripe pattern under her body. Now while we take a look at her exploring her enclosure, let's talk about some obvious things. You don't want to leave this enclosure in direct sunlight. Your little spider's enclosure will heat up pretty quickly and she may boil to death in there. You do want to keep her in a room with natural light so she can see her prey during the day. Never keep her in a dark dungeon or put her in a cupboard. All that she will need now is a light single misting of some water against the side of the enclosure twice weekly. And that wraps it up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribing here on our channel. Thank you.